Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the pre-event press conference for the final round of the 2021 FIA World Endurance Championship, the eight hours of Bahrain. We're going to start today with Neil Jarney from Porsche GT team in the 92 car. Neil, great to see you. Hope you had a few nice days off relaxing after last Saturday's race. Joined this weekend, of course, by Michael Christensen, so three drivers in the 92 car. We're starting with the pro class because it's, it's the closest in terms of the title battle Lots to look forward to this weekend. Um, another great win last weekend, third victory of the season, Neil, by quite a margin. Um, we start again, though. What are your feelings for the programmes that you're going to be running in free practice and how the weekend's going to pan out in terms of pace this weekend? Well, I think uh, this weekend the heat obviously is less of an issue. So for us, rear tire degradation was, was a big thing. Um, especially in the first four hours last weekend. Here we think the first three hours will be hard and then it will just get better and better. And uh, in terms of pace, obviously also just getting quicker and quicker. So we do think we'll, uh, we'll see quicker lap times this weekend just due to the nature of uh, track temperature. And in terms of Ferrari's pace, are you expecting that to, to really come to the surface with the cooler conditions, as you mentioned, particularly tyres, which are, are crucial over stint lengths during the race? Well, I guess that's the mystery, you know, what, uh, what they want to show or what they want to do. Um, I think in the end, uh, it seemed last weekend like they started to struggle with the heat a bit. Uh, also, when I heard from some uh, AM category Ferrari drivers, tires was a bigger issue for them, it seems like. So we do think uh, the pro cars will also find some pace this weekend. And what was, uh, what was Michael doing last weekend? Was he back at base on a sim or was he in contact with you understanding how the car was performing and how things were going in that race before he came here? I guess every little bit of knowledge uh, helps. I think he was watching Netflix or something at home. <laughs> um, I, you know, he's, he's so experienced on, on these cars. Uh, nothing to explain to him. Um, him and Kevin have won the race last year here, the eight hours. So he's filled in quickly. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he, he followed the race. Um, we'll try some new things here. Um, obviously, having had the, uh, the race last weekend, um, we can give him a bit more driving time uh, this weekend uh, in free practice just to, to get up to speed. But as I said, uh, he knows what he does. Obviously, the sister car, the number 91 car, not in title contention. Do you see that car and also the 52 Ferrari being uh, equally as interesting in terms of how the race might proceed in the latter stages of, of Saturday's event? Definitely. Um, you saw last weekend, the 91 was on our tail all race long. Um, so one mistake, uh, they go by us. Uh, in the end, uh, we obviously held also our positions just for the championship. But they have the pace, and this weekend uh, our main target is just to stay ahead of 51 because that will uh, give us the title uh, in the Drivers' Championship and then for the Manufacturers' Championship obviously it gets a bit more complicated, but yeah, uh, all four cars will count this weekend because it's, I mean, it's one point difference in each, the Manufacturers' and Drivers' Championship, so it will be interesting.